Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. I'm Yona Jones from the University of Hong Kong. Today, I will present my paper, uh, Calculus with Recursive Ties, Record Concatenation and Subtyping. This work is done by me, Bruno Olivares, and Andon Fang. <coughs> In the, in the uh, late 80s and 90s, record calculus with a concatenation operator attracts people's attention because they can give the semantics of ob object-oriented programming with multiple inheritance. For example, they provide the semantic of the oblique language observed by Cook and Plusberg in 1989 and Cardelli in 1990. At the time the record calculi were proposed, the subtyping was not added. Cardelli and Mitchell's questions if we can add subtyping to record calculi correctly, model record uh, with a concatenation operator, but found that since subtyping hides the static type information, that is needed to correct model record concatenations. For example, we have a program F2, which takes two parameters R and S of a single field record. The parameter R has the type of record of single field X of type in, and the parameter S has the type of record on single field Y of type rows. The result of this program is the merge of R and S whose types will be an um, intersection of two single field records. What should the program evaluate to because of the extra field Y in the first argument and extra X in the second argument? Note that the field of both parameters are the subset of the field of both arguments. Respectively, thus it's okay to pass those two arguments. We have two options. Option one is to employ the symmetric record concatenations that only allows the concatenation of records without conflict. Therefore, the example of both cannot pass type checker because X and Y appears in both arguments. Another option is that we use asymmetric record concatenations that employs left or right bias concatenations. Therefore, the example will evaluate to a record whose field X is three and field Y is four. However, the return type of field Y will be int rather than broad. So a conflict there is. Thus, in Cardelli and Mitchell's paper in 1991, they say, we should now feel compelled to define R and S only when R and S are destroyed. That's when any field presents in an element of R is absent from every element of S and what versa. Recently, Calculate with destroy intersection ties and a merge operator offered a solution to the Cardelli and Mitchell's problem for concatenation. The lambda i calculus proposed by Olivera and B and other people adopts the disjointness and restrict substantial to address the challenge of symmetric concatenation or merge. However, Although it solves the conflict problems, an important limitation of existing calculus is that they lack of recursive ties. Adding recursive ties is helpful. For example, we might want to define such an object interface, X, encoded by recursive records. 
Here we use ISO recursive task, which means a recursive task and is one step unfolding and not equal but isomorphic. We use four operation to construct a recursive task and unfold operation to open a recursive task. For further use, we define three auxiliary functions that unfold the interface and call the corresponding method. Thus, we don't need the explicit self touch. The literal the literal and um, addition constructors can be defined as four operation, operations that construct recursive types, including the implementation of EVAL, DBL, and EQ. The number seven could be encoded, encoded as list seven, and three plus four is encoding as at least three and list four. Then we can call EQ pi DPL pi E1 and DPL pi E2 to check if the double of seven is equal to double of three plus four. In this work, for such uh, encoding such interface, we define a new calculus called lambda i mu, which combines ISO recursive types destroy intersection types and a merge operator, copyline types and bottom types. We prove the subtyping relations is transitive and desirable. An um, important step is to define ISO recursive subtyping. For checking if two ISO recursive types are subtyped, we choose the recent developed nominal unfolding rules um, in the paper revisiting, revisiting ISO recursive subtypings by me and my co-authors. Two recursive types are subtyped if they are body substitutes by their bodies with um, same label as subtype. Difference from the original paper, here the label type reduced the notation of single field record. The label type alpha tau have two use in this work. Firstly, the label provides a unique identifier for recursive types being compared. Secondly, the record types and records can be encoded as the combination of label types, intersection types, and merge. Here is an example showing how to combine single field records. Note that the merge operator can be used as a Generalization of record concatenation so it can combine any two items like C and true. However, ambiguity can arise with the merge operator if the two values in the merge overlap. Thus, we impose the disjointedness restriction. For example, we can combine two terms of different types, like example one or two. Uh, oh, sorry, like example one. Uh, two records having destroyed set of fields, like example four. But we cannot combine two integers or two records sharing the same names of fields, like example two and example three. One exception is that we can merge two identical terms like example five. We give a formal definition of such disjointness. Says two types tau and sigma are disjoint if all their common superties are tau. In our calculus, we do most by extending top tie to top line ties. A type A is a top line tie if it's the super tie of top. Accordingly, we modify the specification of disjointedness 
to two types sigma and tau are destroyed if all common supertypes of them are top-line ties. We also define several top-line rules for all the types in this work. Following the previous work, it says that we add the top-line recursive types. Allowing a large set of top-line types enable more types to be destroyed. Because without top-line types, any two function ties or any two recursive ties are non destroyed Bottom to top is the super tie of all function ties. And mu alpha dot top is the super tie of all recursive ties. In previous works, they define some algorithmic formulation of destroyedness for all pair of ties except for the recursive ties represents by a star symbol, such as function types and record types. The destroyed rules for function type is quite interesting. It shows that we can only check if the output types are destroyed. In our work, defining destroyedness for recursive type is non-trivial work. According to our specification, binding common supertypes are important for checking destroyedness. Finding a common supertype for covariant recursive type is simple. We can find a recursive type whose covariants are just an intersection of covariants in any functions. Such common supertype is also the least common supertype. However, for defining for finding a common supertype for control variant recursive ties by using the same approach above, the result ties are not the supertype for both types. A counter example is shown in the slides. <coughs> Thus, defining this strongness for recursive ties seems quite difficult. Surprisingly, the destroyedness rules for recursive type is simple. We just need to check if two recursive body are destroyed. The destroyedness rules for top line type and intersection type are also shown below. We can prove that the destroyedness rules are sound with respect to the specifications by giving the definition of top line types. How about the companyness? The companyness for destroy this recursive ties are difficult. Previously, we have stated that finding common subtype for control variant recursive ties are not easy. We can think of this issue more formally. Two recursive ties, mu alpha dot tau and mu alpha dot sigma satisfy the specification implies for any tie rows if mu alpha dot tau less than rho and mu alpha dot sigma less than rho, then rho is applied types. Also, by the destroyedness rules for recursive ties, we want to prove for any ties theta if f, uh, if tau less than theta and how uh, sigma less than theta, then theta is top line type. Rho is the supertype of two recursive types, and theta is the supertype of two bodies of recursive types. One question is, what's the relationship between rho and theta? Remember that the, for destroyedness of functions, we only consider the return types, which means we can make the input type as simple as possible. In our proof, we define a function called lop to compute a lower subtype of type sigma and tau. Function lop computes a common subtype for two types whose control variant positions are all buttons. 
Below we show some average mean rules for the lower super lower common subtypes. We can see that the uh, lower common subtype for two functions, the result the uh, contravariant position of the result type is bottom. The love function gives us a uh, good properties for n for two recursive type. The lower common subtype is a uh, covariant recursive type. Thus, we no longer need to worry about the contravariant recursive types. Furthermore, the lower common subtype have two good properties for any sigma and tau. Both tau and sigma are the subtype of their lower common subtypes. And if tau less than rho and sigma less than rho, and their lower common subtype is top line, then rho is top line types. Which means if the lower common subtype is top line types, then all the common subtypes are also top line types. Therefore, the computation of lower common subtype gives uh, enough information to check if two recursive ties are destroyed. Finally, we can prove the disjointness rules are complete with respect to the specifications. In addition, we have more in the paper, including the full formalization of the calculus, the detailed proof of completeness of disjointness in the appendix, the types Directed operational semantics for the calculus, the type southerness proof for the calculus, and the whole cup proof. In summary, the contributions of this paper um, we show that we can combine the ISO recursive subtyping with intersection types successfully. We define the lambda i mu calculus m proof is type safety. We define algorithmic disjointness for ISO recursive types. And we provide the mechanical formalization for all theorems. That's all of my talk. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, questions and more comments? OK. Uh, can you can give me? So you define uh, an operation that computes the lowest. I think it's. Uh, could you speak loudly? Yeah, you define an operation that that computes the lowest something like lowest number bound of two types. Uh, so is... do you con so have you ever thought of the duality of this operation, which maybe with this duality operation you can get rid of the assumption that all the countervailing positions must be bottom. I think you can go back to that slide, which contains the assumption of the low of the lower supertype. Uh, I don't think that what what is your draw notation. So you mean the? So can you go back to the slide which defines this operation? Yes, I think you have the assumption right contravariant positions are all bottom. Yes. So I guess, I don't know if it's true if it's correct or not, I guess this is due to you are not defining the duality of this operation. Uh, you mean the union types, I guess. Uh, it's not a union, but maybe the is common subtypes. The Co common subtypes. Yeah, the common subtypes. Right. The greatest common subtypes. Oh. But if um, I I remember I have things of this question, but the greatest common subtype is quite difficult to compute. Difficult. So I chose the simple solutions. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Uh, sorry.
Yeah, so th thank you for the presentation. I was, I was wondering about something you, you covered earlier in the presentation where you said there's, it's possible to take the intersection of the string C and, tr and true. I, I understand what it means to take the, take the intersection of, of two records or something like that, but I was having trouble visualizing what the intersection of C and true represents or where that would be used, and I would appreciate it if you could elaborate on that. Well, um, that, that's, so you, 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 you don't understand why C and true are not empty. What, what because C and because in in a set of uh, set of real C and true are empty, but if you choose tight of real, you can give a, a semantic of it. So the semantic is provided by the upper uh, much operator. Well, I was, I was more wondering about what what it means to take the intersection of C and true, or what that what that represents. I, I understand why it's logically allowed. But I was wondering if there's any, any specific meaning of that intersection. Um, I guess you can pass that to uh, function taking. Oh, uh, yeah. So if you, so another example is that intersection type can present some we call finite homomorphism. So if you take if you imagine you take a, a function that could pop, uh, a set input of int and booleans, then the type of the uh, overloading function is int and boolean. Uh, yes, I, I, think I, I think I see it now. Thank you. We have time for more questions. Um, I was wondering what would happen if you were to add to your language a bunch of uh, union types, and it seems that to render one of your area at least reveals to be cool because one of your area is that uh, the, the basically uh, some all the common super types of the types are at the top are topless, but if you use uh, if you add uh, union types, then there, there exist common super types for any two types, right? And, yeah. mm, if you want to add union types in the calculus, I think it's another story. You have to define the, uh, like, similar to top line type, you have to define the bottom line types, but the bottom line types is quite different for your definition uh, for the top line types. Uh, it has another paper in our group. So okay. discuss how to add union types to the calculus. Okay, so there's a notice then that also has uh, union types added. Yes, union type intersection type and destroy intersection types. They have um, they have um, bottom lines okay. types. Oh, sorry, I, I cannot hear. Yeah. Um, can, you, can you say something about what we also have polymorphism? So, so, polymor polymorphism? Yeah, yeah, so. The polymorphism is provided by the destroying intersection times. So. In parametric polymorphism, it's quite the same thing. So sorry. Well, Genesis, I if you want to support Genesis, I think you need the universal ties. But here we only have intersection ties. So, so if you 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 ask if how about if we add the universal? Um, I guess it's n not difficult because uh, there are also another paper in our groups showing how to add a universal ties so in the. Yeah, if I remember correctly, uh, Bruno has 
worked on a system with a disjoint intersection types and disjoint polymorphism. Okay. Not, not, not with recursive types. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, we can take one more quick question, maybe. If not, let's thank the speaker again.